Consider the two well-formed formulas, P or Q, and Q or P. Those things are different well-formed formulas, because a well-formed formula is just a sequence of symbols, and those are different sequences of symbols. They've got the P and the Q in different orders. But they do have an interesting logical property, which is that given any truth assignment to P or Q, that truth assignment gives these two well-formed formulas the same truth value. And that property is called logical equivalence. It's going to be the subject of our next two videos. And it might not seem that useful in this particular case, but there are more complicated logical equivalences which turn out to be tremendously useful. One of the reasons that they're useful is that in mathematics, a lot of the time we want to prove that some statement given to us in a logical form is, is true. And what logical equivalence lets you do is to instead prove some kind of logically equivalent statement which can sometimes be easier or can shed light on the thing that you're trying to prove. So here's the definition of logical equivalence. Two well-formed formulas are logically equivalent if and only if they have the same truth value for every different truth assignment to the propositional variables involved in those well-formed formulas. And when we've got two logically equivalent well-formed formulas, we notate that by writing a triple equals sign like this. So here's some example well-formed um, well formulas that are logically equivalent. We'll begin with the example from the previous slide, P or Q and Q or P are logically equivalent. And that's because the only truth assignments which make P or Q false is the one which makes both P and Q false. For every other truth assignment, P or Q is true. And for Q or P, again, the only truth assignment which makes that false is when P and Q are both given the value false. And for every other truth assignment, Q or P gets the value true. So exactly the same truth assignments making this true make this true. And for that reason, they're logically equivalent. They have the same truth value for every possible truth assignment to the variables P and Q. And for exactly the same reason, P and Q and Q and P are logically equivalent. The only truth assignments which make P and Q false are the ones where one of P or Q, at least one of P of Q is false. And the truth assignments which make at least one of P and Q false are also exactly the truth assignments which make Q and P false. Our uh, next example is called double negation. Double negation says that not not P is logically equivalent to P. And again, that's just because um, P, if P is false, then not not P is also false. And if P is true, then not not P is also true. So P and not not P have the same truth value for any truth assignment to the single propositional variable P. And lastly, we have a kind of associativity property for the connectives and and or. The first one, associativity of and, says that P and Q and R is logically equivalent to P and Q and R. The reason being that a truth assignment makes P and Q and R true exactly when it, it assigns the value true to P and Q and R. And that's the same condition to make the well-formed formula P and Q and R true. Similarly, the truth assignments which make P or Q or R true are the ones which make at least one of P, Q and R true. And that's the same condition to make the well-formed formula P or Q or R true. So you should check that by writing out truth tables for both this well-formed formula and this well-formed formula. What you'll find is when you write out those truth tables, you find that the column for P or Q or R and the column for P or Q or R looks exactly the same. And that's another way to describe logical equivalence. You can say that two well-formed formulas are equivalent, logically equivalent, if and only if they have precisely the same truth table. So let's do that in an example. We'll look at the first logical equivalence there and we'll write down a truth table which has columns for P, Q, P or Q 
and Q or P. And we'll just do a couple of rows of this truth table. Let's see what happens when P and Q are true. Well, when P and Q are true, P or Q gets the value true and Q or P gets the value true. And you can see those last columns are the same. Then if we look at what happens when P is true and Q is false, P or Q gets the value true, Q or P gets the value true. Again, the last two columns are the same. And if we continue this, you'll find that for every truth assignment to P and Q, you get the same value in the P or Q column that you do in Q or P, in the Q or P column. So the fact that the final, that these two columns, the one for P or Q and the one for Q or P, look identical, tells you that those two formulas are logically equivalent, and you can check that you get the same property for all of these other claimed logical equivalences as well. Let's now look at logical non-equivalence. So I claim that these two well-formed formulas are not logically equivalent. So to prove that to you, what I need to do is give a truth assignment where the two well-formed formulas get different values. So let's just try this. Um, we'll try the truth assignment alpha of p is true, alpha of q, uh, sorry, I don't want true first, I want p to be false, alpha of q is true, and alpha of r is also true. Okay, pause the video, work out which truth value this should give to the two well-formed formulas I've written at the top of that slide. Okay, let's check that together then. So you'll remember our procedure for working out the truth value of a well-formed formula. Once you've chosen truth values for its propositional variables, we start with the smallest subformulas and we work up upwards. So when alpha of P is false, alpha Q is true and alpha of R is true, Q or R should be true. So this should be true. And P and Q or R is then false and true. So alpha of P and Q or R is alpha of false and true. So that is um, false. And in fact, if you're smart, you don't even bother working out the truth value for Q or R this time because you know Q is, f you know P is false. So P and anything will also be false. So let's try and be smarter Think when we think about the right-hand side, alpha of P and Q or R. We don't really need to go through the whole procedure for working out the truth value because we can just notice that alpha of R is true and true or anything is true. So this will be true. You can see that this for this truth assignment, the left-hand well-formed formula got a different value to the right-hand well-formed formula, so that proves that those two well-formed formulas are not logically equivalent. So let's just notice that actually for some well, for, for some truth assignments, these two things do take the same, same val um, truth value. So you should check that if beta of P is true and beta of Q is false, and beta of R is true, then actually in this case, beta of P and Q or R does equal beta of P and Q or R. But the fact that there exists at least one truth assignment which gives different values to these two well-formed formulas means that they're not logically equivalent. You only need one counterexample to show logical non-equivalence.